Hey everybody, Pokeguy2567 here. Uh, in today's video, we've got some more Lost Origin stuff. We've got the um, the triple pack blisters. Um, so these just got released in Australia uh, yesterday, so I picked these up today. So everyone always says that these have the better pull rates. So let's have a sticky beak and see what we can pull. All right, three packs there. We've got the Weavile promo, standard promo, code card for anyone that wants that, or yours. And then the coin, originally I thought this was a Charizard coin, but now it's a uh, Surfetched coin, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, unless they put the Charizard coin with something else. Because I know originally when I saw this online, it was the, um, it was the Charizard coin, I'm 100% certain of it. And now all the pictures have changed and they're all, they're all so fetched. Alright. Yeah, those are a little tricky to get out with all the cards on, aren't they? Right. More packs there. Regigigas. Cool. No hollow swirl, nothing exciting. No. Nope. Code card for that. Enjoy that. Alright. I'll just move the cardboard to the side. And then obviously we've got the surf, the other surf fetch coin, so two of them. Charizard would have been more exciting, let's be honest, but... Alright, let's get into the first pack. Everyone always reckons the pull rate's better on the three pack blisters. I have never had such luck, but... We'll find out, won't we? Alright, first up. So we have a white code card, but there could be a character rare in here, or a radiant card. Let's find out. First pack in, that one. Alright, nothing, nothing too, nothing too exciting. Alright, second pack. Alright, black code card, normally means something fun. V-Star marker. I see something at the back. Rock Ralph. Gashadon and Berserker V. Nothing too exciting, but still, it is something. Alright, put that over there. Next pack. I'd like to pull something nice from these three pack blisters. Like, everyone always has the best, the best results, except me. So, I don't know, I mean, to me, I always feel like it's just better to buy a booster box. If you're chasing pulls, just go straight for a booster box. But, come on, while and glass school. So nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy, so that was one, that was one of the three pack blisters and we had Berserker V, so, I don't know, I don't know. Another white coat card. Licky licky. Love Disc, Oldish, Litwick, Shuppet, Landorus, nothing. So I'm just going to call early now and say that it's just, I don't know, just poor. Three pack blisters for me are just not the go. White code card again, jeez. Macrow, Rhyhorn. Character rare, anything, Haunter and Greedent, nothing. Alright, one pack left guys, one pack left. That's two three pack blisters. And we've got nothing. Black code card, can this save us? Can there be something really cool in here? That extra thick for some reason. Thornton, Cedro. What do I see at the back there? And Gudro V Star Rainbow. Ooh. Front centering on that is not very good at all. So look at the back. Ho oh, ho. Jeez. Nah. Nah, quality control is really poor. Really poor. Alright. So two three pack blisters. That's what we pulled. So we got one from one, one from the other. I mean the pull rates are technically still good, because I mean it's usually like what one in seven packs you get a pull type of thing, but I don't know. 
uh, let me know what you guys reckon though, if you enjoyed that or if you guys have had good pulls with the three pack blisters or if you just avoid them in general. I usually avoid them in general, but I thought I'd make a new video on them and get them and then get the, uh, get the promos that I need for the master set, get the coin. I always, I collect all the coins. I was hoping for the Charizard though, but apart from that, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.